Hello Internet, I am Xenon and welcome back to Pixelmon on the uh, the Pixelock server. As mentioned before, uh, this is a public server. I had a couple comments and a personal message asking about this. Yes, you can join. Look in description. <laughs> Pretty easy. Anyway, I've been having some fun on here and uh, I was very surprised at how many people watched the, the first episode. I, I, I don't know. Maybe people have realized I'm here now since I almost quit. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. But yeah, I, as you can see on the left, I've got a, a Charmeleon now. Instead of my little Charmeleon. Oh, hey, let's tell you. Arr, give me Charmeleon. Yeah, yeah, go away. My Gyarados is bigger. That's right. Comparing sizes already. So yeah, that's Charmeleon. Uh, I got this cool haunted dude. He's a ghost, you know. They do that. And yeah, um, oh, there's a pretty lackluster until you see this guy. Boom! Look at him! He's big! <laughs> I have no idea why Gyarados are so big. I'm supposed to be able to ride these by right clicking on them. Uh, eh, I'm not sure if I meant to be up there to be able to do it, but you know. Whatever. Stuff. Uh, so the, the server has currency. I have, what, 36 bucks now. And it's because I spent 300 on this um, EXP share. I've got on Haunter at the moment, and I've been using Ultra Balls, which are on sale for like 8 bucks, which is awesome. But yeah, I've been uh, farming a lot of cash, so for anyone interested in joining the server, I figure I'd just go over the money system quickly. I'm getting a bit of lag, there we go, now I can run properly. So basically some of the Pokemon have drops. This little drop shop area below the, the Magikarp, yeah, below the Magikarp. As uh, all the description of what drops what, and I found that uh, these guys here are pretty good to kill because they drop one to four of those. Those guys pretty good to kill. Wonderful pearls, mill tank drop a lot of leather, a lot of leather. Uh, yeah, grabbers and stuff you can find them. They never seem to turn up when I'm trying to kill them. It's weird. You know, because <laughs> people always turn up when you're trying to kill them. And you know, string. I find lots of string. I don't actually farm Caterpie. I just run around and I, I see the string lying on the ground. But yeah. What's the, the the aim of the game though? Is Dratini and Dragonair drop diamonds. Which is, if you come to here, you can sell them for 500 bucks each. Most of the other things are like 5 bucks. Except for apples, which Snorlax drop. Uh, glowstone dust. Pikachu drop that. Eggs. Uh, Execute drop that. And ex Executor. And Ink Sacks from Tentacle cools and tender crawls, whatever. But yeah. That's that's the drops. And I forget where the hub is. I've learned the the warp commands. Um, I have access to them on the server because I'm YouTuber rank. If you're a junior trainer, I don't think you do have access, but you you can go to the website I think and you get trainer rank. Now what we're gonna do on this is um Go ahead and get us a level on Charmeleon, because for those of the people who are familiar with the Pokemon leveling and evolution, when Charmeleon hits level 36, he evolves. <laughs> and I've never actually been to Ice Town before, I just know that around here there should be some stuff that Charmeleon can kill. It should be reasonably high level. So let's find something. And I've been purposely avoiding uh, using him in battle, so I've ended up leveling Pikachu a bit. And or see a little. Still don't really know which Pokemon I want to keep with me. Probably Haunter I will evolve at some point to Gengar. Use that. Because I've always liked Gengar. From, you know, first, first gen Pokemon. Um, I've caught a fair few Pokemon. I should probably show you my, my box thing, computer. That. Um, but yeah, it's very interesting playing in this because normally in Pokemon you have like excess amounts of cash and you just buy a billion Pokeballs you go out and start catching everything you see. Not so much on the server because uh, the drops are only worth <laughs> 5 bucks each and an Ultra Ball at the moment is on sale for 8 bucks, usually 32. So yeah. What the heck is that? That's a Jinx. Okay Charmeleon. You're up. First one of these I've seen. 
fight and we go for don't know flame burst. Let's see what happens. Ice punch, yep. Yeah. And he's been frozen. <laughs> well that's anticlimactic. He's gonna get owned now. Oh my god, frozen solid on the first hit. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Super effective and he got owned. Okay. Pikachu, see how he goes. If it's gonna go bad, I'm just gonna run. Oh, that's alright. Doing enough damage. Well, I guess I'll have to go back and uh, heal him up. Wow, that hurts a lot. Uh, if Pikachu faints, I don't think anything else is going to be able to defeat it. Uh, maybe if I go Haunter, use Curse. Curse does a lot of damage. It's helped me beat some pretty tough Pokemon. And Sucker Punch, see how this goes. And Haunter, at level 26, beat level 48. That's the other thing I like about Pixelmon. Oh, he just stores power attacks. Nah. No. Just, just, oh, hang on. He's in pretty other bad things. And on the move, let's use by the target. Yeah. Get rid of Spite. Yeah, um, in Pixelmon, you, the, the levels are a lot more <laughs> open kind of thing. If, if something out levels you by a bunch. Oh, it's a green boss. Uh, I need, damn it, Chameleon could own him because he's Steel type, isn't he? Was Ice Town the place? Yes. There you go. I can heal. Oh, okay. Well, if that dude's still there when I get back, but I doubt he is. All my other Pokemon are mainly Water types, and then Haunter, so. Yeah, I wasn't going to be the Magnemite, especially not a boss one. The bosses are, um, you know, different colours, like green, blue, or yellow. Uh, I fought two blue bosses so far. One was a Rapidash, which kicked my butt. This is not the way I went out. Go right this way. Go right that way. This way. Okay. I remember the bridge. Yeah, um, Rapidash actually whooped my bum. Now I just let the other guys on the server know that there was a Rapidash and they they killed it and I, I watched. <laughs> and the other one was a Graveler. Um, Haunter, when he was level 22, has a Ghastly. Killed that for me. That was pretty amusing. There's another Jinx. Look, there's some little Swinubs. Um, and yeah, so that was hilarious. He beat a level like, 48 Graveler. And it was mainly just type advantage, I think. Okay, so I remember seeing that. Magnemite was around here somewhere. He's gone. Jinx is still there, though. Hey, hooray. I think we'll leave that alone for now. Well, I was going to attack those swine ones, but, you know, they were fighting each other, so I can't. Alright. But yeah, the, the Graveler, after I beat it, didn't drop anything. The boss was meant to drop TMs or some other stuff and he got nothing. So apparently it's just a, a chance. The guys in the server were telling me. You know, that, that happens. And where the heck are all the Pokemon? <laughs> Typical. There's Pokemon everywhere where I'm going. Oh, there's an ore Magnemite. Yeah, let's go. Oh, okay. He, he attacked me. Whatever. My Charmeleon is miles away. Okay, one hit, one kill. Oh, Iron Ingots. Three of them, nice. That's 15 bucks. Oh, there's another Megamite. Let's go attack him. Come okay, on. There he is. Kaito. And blam. Come okay, on. You're getting there, slowly. I was very careful in not using Charmeleon before this. Hang on, I should probably just remove the XP share. And then that'll make him level faster, substantially. But yeah, I was very careful not to use Charmeleon because of this, but now he's got, you know, a fair chunk before he levels. Level 4? Level 4? Why is that even spawned out here? It's cold. Birds, like, fly away from the cold. 16, too low. 
What are you? 24. Yeah, good enough. Do Dragon Rage. And one more should kill it. So that's a good thing about Dragon Rage. I actually used it to beat a lot of higher level Pokemon because it always does 40 damage. So normally if you know something's a lot higher level, it um, takes a lot less damage. But because Dragon Rage always does 40 damage, it's pretty goddamn OP. <laughs> At least in uh, Pixelmon. It's nuts. So yeah, Charmander is a, a good get. And I do have a couple of the other starters now, which I'll show you eventually. Let's beat these guys. Ooh, what are you? Make no. I'll do something else from the side. Are you fighting? Yes, you are. Explains why I can't attack. The Magnemite's too low level. Come on, give me something. Oh, there we go. Is that a Pylos one? No, it's just a twin up. It's a big twin up. So it might even be worth catching think about it. But I'm gonna kill it. There we go, level 36. And this is evolution. It's pretty cool. I like it. Except uh, the Gyarados evolution was a bit funny. You'll see what I mean in a second when he starts actually evolving. There we go. So they just kind of stretch out. Going from Charmander to Charmeleon, it looks friggin' epic. And yeah, that... <laughs> it kind of glitches and jumps to a bigger thing. But yeah, Charmander Charmeleon was pretty good. It was more natural. Yeah, look at you. Now this dude is meant to be writable too. So he meant to just be able to right click, but... Oh well. So yeah, Charizard. Nice. Oh, and there's a whole town over here. Let's have a look at this. Ah. Oh. I've just gone full circle. That's that's the town. We yeah, have had a lot of fun exploring um, on the server. It's incredible. Normally in Pokemon, you know, they're limited exploring. You're always kind of like, eh, I could explore and level, or I could go progress. Um, but on this, exploring is is great because you'd go find oh one shot kill. <laughs> but yeah, it's great because you can go find. Um, Rare Pokemon that you don't see otherwise, you get away from other people and you have some good times. Yeah, it's just a Pidgeotto. And yeah, you see some rare things, see some bosses, you have a crack, and hopefully you kill it. And one of my favourite spots, that's Clefairy. Well, I guess we're fighting it, it attacked me. Yeah, one of my favourite spots to go is actually out in the middle of nowhere, and I found it. It's got some really interesting terrain. I I'd go there, but it'll take a while to get there. Maybe you'll start an episode there at some point. Yeah, your Haunter leveled. It's good. I need Haunter to level more because he's got really crappy attacks. Caught him at like level 20-ish, maybe 21. But yeah, um, and because of that, he'd already overridden Nightshade with couple of other moves and it basically meant he had no attacks except for curse and sucker punch but only has um, 5 PP yes I said PP <laughs> uh, anyway um, we'll have a look a bit further looks like this biome's never gonna end I have found the the larger biomes tend to have a lot more spread out spawns which is kind of weird since you know no matter how large a biome is, the surrounding one should still have spawns and stuff, but I don't really know how spawns work uh, in Pixelmon. Sometimes if you just AFK for a while on a spot and then it'll populate the area around you. So it might be something to um, to reduce lag and server um, stress by just having like timed spawns, maybe every couple of minutes it refreshes and more spawn in an area, but yeah, then you get just random one-offs every now and then, so I have no idea. Ah, go away. You suck. <laughs> oh, even though it's only two levels lower, but you know, whatever. It still sucks. Oh, wrong, wrong attack. Urgh. Yeah, that may take longer. So hopefully I'll get uh, flamethrower soon, which will be pretty awesome. Any feathers dropped? No, 
and I've completely forgotten which way I was running. Thanks. I have noticed that with battles, you can get a bit disorientated afterwards. The spinning screen during the fight doesn't really help. Ah, oh, go away. Oh, at least he gave me some iron. Three, nice. Okay, what have we got up there? It looks like there's an Abra, a Radita. Are you serious? <laughs> Pokemon normally aren't this aggressive, like everywhere. Oh, okay, it was a Jirafi, I think. Maybe there's some Mareep. Oh no, it's a Hip Hypno. Fair enough. Not really interested in fighting those guys. It's boring. I want to find something interesting. That would be nice. Yeah, I've been told that the legendaries in the game are Mew and some other one that starts with an R that I don't know how to pronounce the name. But looking at the uh, the wiki for Pixelmon, there's also supposed to be Zapdos, Sadakuno, and Moltres in um, different biomes. So I don't know if they're enabled for the server, but um, supposedly they're in the game. And the one that had a name starting with R on the wiki says it can only be spawned in, so I'm not sure if it's on the server either. The, I thought I saw some Pokemon. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to find anything. There's pumpkins. So, let's go to... Boulder City. And I think it's... No. Boulder Town. Can't remember how this is spelled. Oh, that's, that's obviously wrong. Ah. Hub. If all those fails, stop trying to type in things. And let's see. This way. Boulder City, like that. Okay, you. You guys, I left out the you. <laughs> yeah, come down here and heal. This is um, one of the places I like to come. It's generally quiet, and if you walk a few steps out, you tend to get away from people pretty easily. Yeah, I'll let everything heal up, and then I'll show you what Pokemon I've caught. Um, like I said, I've been kind of rationing my Pokeballs, because I don't want to run out of cash. But, where's the uh, computer? There wasn't, oh, there's one in there. Didn't see it. Here we go. So here's what I've got in here. We got ourselves a Vulpix, um, Dendacruel, Totodile, Cyndaquil, Abra, Aeron, Chikorita, Bulbasaur, and an Eevee. So I've got four starters I've caught. And there was... I think there was four grass, four water, and two of the fire in the game. So I've got both of the fire with Charmander. Uh, I've got half of the grass and one quarter of the water. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen any Squirtles yet, actually. Only on uh, trainers and stuff. Yeah, and uh, the way the gyms work, last, last time we were here I was trying to just walk in there and fight something. But yeah, the way the gyms work is that actual people are filling the roles of the gym leaders. Which is pretty cool, but uh, I don't know how that would go with time zones. Might need multiple gym leaders of a certain type. I'm not sure where they'd manage it. I've talked to Meteor German. Find out how that works exactly. Because, yeah, being an Australian, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get all the badges. <laughs> people don't tend to play when I do. Is that a ditto? <gasps> it is. That's the first one I've seen. Those are probably fairly rare. What level is it? 45. Okay, go Charizard. I missed. Oh, that thing's suffocating in a wall. I saw a magic cup that was drowning once. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> Ditto. Nice. Okay. Oh, this thing's going to turn to a Charizard. <laughs> Did not think of that probably not the best idea to let it become a Charizard. Okay, use Dragon Rage. Now we're within uh, K 
capture range of health. One thing I don't like is the uh, the spin around. Um, I wish I could just set the camera instead of spinning it around on me. <laughs> you have to actually see what's going on most of the time. Not that there is much to see, but you know. Got ditto. Nice. Well, that was fairly easy. Probably catch a Matang at some stage. I'd like to get the, the lowest evolutionary form though. It's a trainer, is it Cubone? Ekans. Yeah, I've, I found I already have like my little spots that I run to around the place when I'm looking for certain things. And over here is pretty cool because you've got um, hills, beats forest. You find some interesting Pokemon. I saw a Taurus down here once, which is Plains Biome? Not sure. Yeah, here's a, a meal tank. A drop leather. It's worth it. Uh, there's another spot near the uh, the spawn actually that spawns a lot of mill tank and cadabra and you make a lot of cash. That thing over there is a waste of time. <laughs> I went in there once and it just has a sign saying sucks doesn't it or something because you can't get down to the chests. And there's a walk back to the hub or something. Yeah. Anyway guys, I think we're probably done here. I'm going to continue leveling things, having some fun, kind of limited on ideas for how, what to record for this. If you've got any challenges maybe in mind um, that you want me to try out, I'm not sure what kind of challenges you'd put in mind. Maybe you've challenged me to catch a certain type of Pokemon that's in the, in the game and I'll hunt it down and capture it live on camera. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, there's something over here. It's probably Pokemon Center. Now I'm considering this place because I haven't farmed desert much. Or snow. And there's also a plains and a forest. This is a Pokemon Center. This is a good spot. If I can find the door, this is a good spot. <laughs> I ran past the door straight away, didn't I? I seem to be horribly here. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny door. And it is a Pokemon Center. Nice. Okay guys, new farming spot when Pokemon spawn. It's got a lot of potential here. There's no other people, which is great. It is, there's that many online if you're wondering. And apparently the only YouTuber online. I've actually seen many. German um, was online the first time I logged in. And other than that, I haven't seen any of the other guys or anyone I know. Anyway guys, uh, like I said, that'll be it for now. Let's get Charizard out for some inspiration. Rawr. He should be bigger. Like, when you have a Gyarados that's that big. <laughs> Charizard's that big. I don't know guys, w what do you think about this size difference? I know I had a pretty big magic up to begin with, so that's probably a, a slightly larger Gyarados than normal. But come on, size difference. He'd like be eaten by him. Oh, oh, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And there's a Taurus. Ooh, ooh. And I hope to see you next time. <laughs> now I'm not going to catch it, don't worry. I might kill it. Oh, see ya.